Good morning, good bastards. How are you going? We just dropped Darwin's kids off at the bus stop. Get picked up, and there's the bus going past right now. Take them to school. Before I kick into my day, I wanted to show you my beach where I live. I love coming in here and get on the rocks on my feet. This is Ruby Bay. Now, down this end here, there's a big rock wall that's been built, paid for by the ratepayers of this area to stop the water flooding over into homes but it hasn't really done much because a lot of homes have been lost down there. I heard last count was around 20, it could be more I don't know but that's what I heard. We had at this end with the pointers there that's where Makita Main is, a lot of people were camping there or even living there, that's also been flooded out the recent cyclone that came through. You see that alright? I'm recording on my phone. Right, that there is 240 wet and dry, and that's a granite block. A little bit of water. Uh, before we put water on though, I've got to do this. I've got to dress our stone. This is a 500 grit wet stone. What do you reckon, mate? Hmm? Here we're looking. Outsides are higher. And it's dipped in the inside, so you've got a bit more to do. I think we are done. I think it's pretty much flat. Yep. There's no uh, graphite on that at all. It's a flush, flat stone. We can now start sharpening our knife. I've got two knives to sharpen. So my knife angle on this is going to be about a 22 degrees. And on the whetstone, there's two ways you can do it. I think the uh, Japanese way is straight up and down like this, and the western way is on an angle. Correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't make much difference, but whatever works for you. So we'll crank into it. So pressure on when you pull back, relax when you go forward. Pressure pulling back, relax. Putting the pressure down when you pull back, relax forward. So I'm giving about 20 on that side and then changing, same again. Now I'm pushing the pressure on as I'm going away and then relax as I'm coming forward. Pressure as I go away, relax as I come forward. Pressure as I go away, relax as I come forward. This grey stuff we're getting now, we keep that, instead of filings mixed up with the stone, that acts like a cutting compound. So don't clean that off, keep it on, it's working for you. Righto, we're pretty bloody sharp. I can feel it sharp, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the 2000 stone. This is a 2000 grit wet stone. I have actually dressed this one, so it's good to go. So we'll tear into that and come back shortly. Polishing that edge nice and smooth. We could go one step further and polish it with a belt and a bit of Jules Rouge or some compound, but uh, for my way of thinking, this is pretty good. You can see that that stone is getting a nice even draw on the knife there. There's no dips, which is pretty good. Right, yeah, giving it a polish on the 2000. Yeah, the old paper test, you've seen it done before on YouTube, you know, people are holding it and doing nice fine cuts like that. It's bullshit, I can tell you right now. I can get a blunt knife, and if I get my angle right, technique right, I can actually cut through it and make it look impressive. I mean, this is sharp, but that's not really a true test of whether a knife's sharp or not. The best way is actually to uh, shave the hair off your arm, or dice a leaf while it's floating in a bit of water, or drop a tomato and let it cut itself on its own weight, because you can bullshit that one a bit. I know, because I've done it. I was given this nifty lift a while ago by some good bastard, so the least I can do is put his contact details in the description box below for you. It's a 4 to 1 ratio and it can lift a hell of a lot of weight, this is nothing, it can lift a V8 block. A real handy thing for taking the bush if you're also 
going away and you want to do your animal outside in the uh, scrub. Oof, good chewing. You see it? Looks pretty good. So easy. And one thing I always do, which a lot of people forget, is I write what it is, which is uh, shoulder. Here's my shoulder. Is that right? Pork. And it's March. 2018. Good to go in the freezer. Oh, that smells good. Got out of the production line going. And we've got some lunch. Yum. Well, let's eat this. First time I've tried this. That's good. It tastes almost like domestic pork, eh? Hey? Yeah. Hmm. It was quite a white pig. You gonna try some? Mm hmm. Yeah. Tasty, eh? Hmm. So that pig was shot by my mate Possum, and I'll have the clip for you guys uh, oh, soon. Currently, I'm taking my daughter Dayla, who's tomorrow going for her driver's license. Big day, eh, honey? Okay. Are you confident? Um, Hesitation? Yeah. Don't worry about them. Oh, okay. I didn't do anything wrong. Where's your indicator? So we survived town, didn't we honey? Getting here. I'm not that bad at driving. We see that on there. Yes ma'am. Hi right, fillets. Veggies are done so we can turn that off. And a bit of garlic in the pan. On top of that, a little bit more lard. Right, here's a game changer. Cider vinegar. Soy sauce. Brown sugar. And a bit of a mix in, it'll be sweet as bro. Actually, it'd be sweet and sour as bro. So tomorrow, data goes for a driver's license. It'll be D Day. Yep. So wish her luck. Good luck with your own hunting, your own gathering of food, cooking, doing stuff with your family. And your own driver's license. And your own driver's license, thing, yeah. If you're a teenager, and if you're a teenager and your parent is teaching you to drive, listen to them. They know best. Most of the time, they do. They've been driving for a lot of years. Good luck if you're a parent with a teenager. <laughs> it's not always easy, is it, honey? <laughs> Most of the time it's pretty good, though. We're pretty lucky. And uh, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. See you later.